What up, guys? Matt Washington Sports Cards here with you. Thought I'd bring you a Saturday afternoon video of uh, just some of my favorite cards that I have in my collection. Um, we've done a few review videos already uh, of the 2018 uh, Panini Select Football. Great product. Uh, done the video of uh, an older product, or this year's product, but uh, 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball. And did one did a review this week of the 2019 Topps Heritage uh, Baseball, which is always a fun product to open. Uh, always, um, you know, because of just all the little quirky variations that you have to look for, and you know, just makes it a fun product to open and actually look through and try to cipher, you know, what you got and what you don't got, things like that. So, topic of my video today is going to be just some of the top cards in my collection. Uh, some of the guys that I've uh, collected over the years, um, <clears throat> some of the guys who uh, I really enjoyed uh, watching as a kid, uh, and now that I'm an adult, work for a living, have a real job, uh, now I can actually afford some of the big boy cards uh, and stuff of, of some of the greats and, and things that um, I enjoyed as a kid, players I enjoyed as a kid, um, and just some other cards that you know I've acquired through trades or... Uh, breaks different things like that so first off we'll start with uh 2012 upper deck all-time great signatures of lebron james uh three of five uh this is uh, like a black uh silhouette or uh sifa kind of uh, finish to it uh, this is him in his high school jersey um you know try to be politically correct here on how how I really feel about LeBron James amazing ball player amazing 100% amazing superstar when when his career is said and done he will definitely go down as, as one of the greatest all times um, now with that being said um, my strictly my opinion only but I think he is uh, a shitty teammate uh, just with some of the stuff and some of the criticism he's been given to some of his uh uh, teammates this past week man it's yeah, past couple weeks just I don't know I just feel like you could handle yourself a little bit better than that uh, you didn't hear uh, some of the all time greats back in the day doing that stuff blaming it on their teammates oh they're afraid to win you know they're they're accustomed to lose and shit like you know, you know fuck that you don't do that shit to your teammates man you know that the locker room has to be phew, Tension has to be high in the locker room, but you know, hey, he is one of the all-time greats, man. So you know what, you definitely have to have to pick up a, a signature uh, card of his for sure. Uh, definitely one to put in the PC. Now, with that being said, if you're gonna have this card, you definitely, definitely, definitely gotta have an autograph of the goat, the G O A T. This is hands down. The greatest ball player of all times. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people out there are like, oh, LeBron James, uh, he's great. Uh, you know, uh, Kobe Bryant, man, Michael Jordan, dude. Nobody, nobody tops uh, Michael Jordan. So what we have here is a 2012 Upper Deck all-time uh, great signatures, the silver. Uh, also, two of five, uh, graded at uh, BGS 9. 10 uh got this card in my collection and then ultimately just straight sent it out to beckett uh this is definitely one of them cards you have to have slabbed for sure uh the bron james uh is going to be in my next rotation uh of subs to beckett so uh he will be slabbed here uh sooner than later but hey michael jordan i mean what can you say about michael jordan besides that He's the GOAT, the greatest of all time. I mean, that, you know, six NBA championships with one team. You know, never had to ditch his teammates and run to somewhere else to try to win a championship. So, hands down to me, I'm an 80s and 90s kid. You know, I grew up watching Michael Jordan. You know, now as an adult, you know, I get to watch the players like LeBron James play and, and got to watch Kobe and just, I don't know. Things Michael Jordan did on the court. Uh, his dominance, his presence, his his uh, court uh, awareness, and just his overall smarts of the game. I mean, just uh, 
unrivaled in my opinion. So, well, when you have a goat auto, you know you have to you have to follow it with the most iconic sports card probably in the game today, the eighty six eighty seven Fleer Michael Jordan rookie card. Uh, mine is graded a BGS seven. Uh, this was a pickup from the local card shop uh, in in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, through the decades on Hirschborn Lane, uh, definitely go check them guys out. Uh, Alex Spears, the store owner, great dude, great dude. Uh, the guy that works in there with him, Chase. Chase is funny, man. Uh, these guys are awesome. Uh, it's my go-to shop. Um, if I ever need. Uh, any supplies, cards, whatever, you know, they're they're more than welcome uh, to to work with me, help me get what I need. Uh, sports card knowledge, you know, I can go in there, pick their brains, uh, and they'll definitely help you out with anything you need. They are they are the real deal when it comes to sports cards. Uh, the store is huge. Uh, it's split up of you know a third uh, uh, sports cards, jerseys, autographed baseballs, bats, jerseys. Uh, cards, uh, supplies, boxes. They have tons and tons of wax, a whole wall of wax. And then the other two thirds of the shop is like the gaming for like the Magic, the Yu Gi Oh, uh, things like that. So definitely check them out, guys. Through the decades, uh, sports cards and gaming on Harshborn Lane in Louisville, Kentucky. So after that, what we have here is a 2014 Top Supreme. Uh, dual auto to 25 of Bo Jackson and Ken Griffey Jr. When it comes to baseball in the 90s, what can't you say about these two guys? You know, the late 80s, the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, you know, with Bo Jackson being the late 80s and and the kid in the 90s, man. These two, damn. You know, always enjoyed watching these kid, these two guys play as kid. Uh, amazing. You know, when it comes to to Bo Jackson with just his amazing uh, athletic ability, be able to run up, scale the wall uh, like it wasn't nothing, like he's a superhero, you know. At, me and my buddies as kids, man, it's like if there's anything there's a such thing as uh, uh, a real life superhero is Bo Jackson. I mean, he did things, you know, like I said, scaling the wall, uh, striking out at a bat, breaking the bat over his knee, just like it, just like it was a stick out in the yard. I mean, damn. Things like that. I mean, just, you know, just make it, you know, things unreal as a kid and just enjoy watching these guys. And then Ken Griffey Jr. probably had the prettiest swing in baseball. Uh, I mean, just the smooth, you know, the follow through. I mean, just everything in his swing was literally uh, probably the nicest swing we'll ever see in baseball. Uh, I haven't seen a swing yet that it can't, that he's even comparable. Uh, now this might be a little biased, but you know, being 2019, uh, a player that I feel like has a, a, a real pretty swing in baseball nowadays is Andrew Benintendi. Uh, if you just look at his swing last year, it's nice, fluid, uh, keeps a nice eye on the ball, makes good contact, uh, good on base percentage. I mean, the kid just yeah, the kid's gonna be a stud, and of course that's who I PC. So uh, you know, had to give a little plug to Andrew Benintendi just. Because I really enjoy the style of ball he plays. Alright, next up we have uh, 2017 Panini XR Triple Patch Auto of Randall Cobb, Jordy Nelson, A.A. Rod, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, this card is uh, one of three uh, game used uh, BGS 9. Nine on all the autos, you know, some Randall Cobberg got a little chicken scratch, but uh, this is a top card in my collection. Uh, this card was pulled uh, in a break on Nasty Breaks. Um, why this is such a big card for me, of course, is because Aaron Rodgers is, is by far one of the best quarterbacks to, to ever play the game. And then also Randall Cobb because, you know, he's a UK guy, and you got to support the UK guys got to give them some love so definitely a top card in the collection i really enjoy this card next up we have a jack nicholas uh out of uh upper deck black 
this is a uh, like a shirt card with his autograph acetate over top of it uh, signature to 10 uh, also a BGS 99 why this card didn't get a 10 in the auto I don't understand because it's not off card nothing the signatures good no smears in the signature so I'm not really for sure why I got dinged um, on the auto uh, surface just had a, a few spots that I couldn't clean off there uh, felt like they was probably you know into the card um, some imperfections that I just I couldn't buff out couldn't clean out uh, and, and didn't want to put too much into it but just my main I think was to get this card slabbed and get it nice and protected. Uh, definitely one of the all-time greatest uh, golf golfers. Uh, so this is definitely one of the cards in my collection that I enjoy quite a bit. Uh, this card was also hit in a break uh, on nasty breaks. So now getting into a couple of the, the big cards that um, that were always a must. Like I've said in a couple of my videos before, I am a '90s kid. So I grew up on the 92, uh, 93 Tops Finest uh, and the, just the bold colors uh, of the Top Finest. And you know always the, the, the holy grail in that whole set of cards to hit was the, the Michael Jordan Tops Finest Refractor. Well, now since I was an adult, you know, that was a card that I never could imagine getting as, an, as a kid. Uh, but now as an adult, uh, I was able to get uh, a 93 Tops Finest Michael Jordan Refractor. As you can see, it's got the, the shimmer uh, on the card itself. Uh, just a beautiful card. Uh, mine is graded a PSA 9, uh, you know, which is, is totally fine with me. Uh, just because this is just one of them cards that, that I always wanted as a kid. Uh, not really the greatest picture of Michael Jordan. I never, that's the one thing about these cards I never could really understand is why they just didn't put a more uh, Michael Jordan in his element picture on this because, you know, you can't hardly see his face. Just his body positioning is awkward. I don't know. But just, it, I, I think that's what one of the things is that just makes this such an icon, uh, iconic card is just uh, the picture on it. You know, you see that card and you're like, yep, that's definitely Michael Jordan for sure because I can remember just his awkwardness and stuff in the card. So, beautiful card. This is always one of them cards that, you know, was a must. Uh, you know, when you went to the car shop as a kid, I can remember my little local car shop here in town, uh, Barnyard Collectibles, here in my Washington, and, you know, buying Top's Finest Packs, and this was always the card you try to go after. But now I'm able to have one in my collection. Great card. And then we'll go from the 93 Finest Refractor to the 94-95 Top's Finest Michael Jordan refractor. Uh, mine has been peeled. It has the the peeling off of it, which you know I'm totally cool with it. Uh, I'm more, you know, I just the love of the cards, the love of the cards itself. That's all about it. I'm not into this to to make a million dollars and be rich. None of that stuff. I just love cards, man. Uh, brings me back to my childhood. Just how much love I and passion I had for cards growing up. So. Uh, this is also the the refractor, like I said. You can see it how it kind of has the shimmer and the the gloss, the prism look behind it. Uh, this was always a great hard card. Um, with his forty five jersey on after coming back uh, after one of his retirements, um, BGS nine. Uh, you know, not a nine five, not ten. You know, got hit a little bit on the surface, but I bought this card graded so. Uh, I need to do about that, but super cool card. And then another one of the most iconic cards growing up, like I said, as a 90s kid that you try to go after. Everybody, uh, all my buddies, this was the one card we tried to pull as a kid. The 1989 Upper Deck Ken Giffrey Jr. star rookie uh, out of Upper Deck. Uh, I never even had a raw version of this card as a kid. Uh, just for some reason, this was always one of the cards that eluded me. Uh, I can never get my hands on one. But now as an adult, I was able to get one. Uh, mine is PSA, Gem Mint 10. 
So this card is, I guess, the most uh, one of the most pristine cards as you can get of this. So definitely, definitely want to buy this card slab. Make sure it's, you know, put up and protected. But God, you know, Ken Griffey looks like a baby in this picture. But such a great card, such an iconic card in the baseball world. Um, just an overall wonderful card. This card brings back a lot of memories as a kid and collecting. Um, seeing a lot of buddies pull this card and you know have this card in their collection, and I bet you some of my buddies that I collected cards with back in the day, if you know if they still had their cards, if their mom didn't throw them out, things like that, I almost bet you they still had this card in their collection. Uh, a couple of good buddies of mine, I know they they still have a couple of these. So, definitely a great card. And then, the one card in collecting that your parents, you had to hush up, hush, and not tell your mom that you got. Because it has a cuss word on it. The infamous 89 Fleer Billy Rookin fuckface card. Uh, mine is PS Hey Jim Mint 10. Uh, and what made this card so collectible, and I'm going to, hopefully I can get this in here and if i got to take it out. There you go. You can see on the bottom of his barrel, bat barrel, it says fuck face on it. Now they make all kinds of different versions of this. They make it where it's not on there. They make it white it out. They put a box around it. Um, but definitely I wanted the one that said, definitely wanted the fuck face one. Man, that's the most infamous card. That's the one that everybody wanted. Uh, so I was glad to, you know, add this to my collection because this is, this is definitely one of them cards that brings back a lot of memories as a kid. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe. Look, this card has a cuss word on it. Oh my God. You know, just freaking out as a kid. Uh, so this card's awesome. Love this card. And last but not least, it goes back to, um, you know, one of the, the passions and the love that I got for baseball and baseball cards and stuff was uh, my grandfather. I can remember him taking me to the uh, suburb collectibles on Barstown Road and, and buying me packs of cards and, you know, talking about different players, looking through the showcase and stuff like that. And uh, one of the cards that, you know, I always wanted to get it, you know, Growing up as an avid Red Sox fan, uh, you know, jumping from team to team as a kid, you know, because that's the way we do, following players. So, you know, I followed Jose Canseco, was always my favorite uh, player as a, as a kid. So, uh, you know, following him from the A's to the Texas Rangers to his uh, couple years stint with the Red Sox, which a lot of people don't even really realize that he played for the Red Sox. Um, so, you know, just following him. But always, deep down, I've always been a Boston Red Sox fan you know for as long as I can remember so one card I definitely wanted to get in my collection was a, a Ted Williams card some of some sort uh, and a Ted Williams autograph well I got a 1959 uh, tops Ted Williams Ted's idols uh, authenticated autograph uh, with his signature on it uh, and it's a, it's this is the Ted Ted's idol uh, and it also has Babe Ruth you know showing different uh, chokes on the bat um, yeah, I can't remember that what that damn game's called but um, this is just one of my favorite cards in my collection uh, Ted Williams probably one of the greatest hitters of all time in baseball um, I, I still don't know a player today that you could probably say uh, that they is the most uh, better hitter than Ted Williams uh, the things that he did for the country for baseball everything um, just Ted Williams is, was a great ball player and you know it brings back a lot of memories because he was my grandpa's favorite ball player um so just i cherish those memories of, of talking about ted williams with him and you know so this just kind of helps me you know relive the past a little bit and, and keep those memories fresh all right guys so that's my video today um look for my next video coming up this week of uh 2018-19 uh panini select basketball Hopefully, cross fingers, hopefully we can get a Luca Auto. That's what we're going to be looking for. But uh, uh, such a great product. So, you know, looking forward to it. Everybody have a good Saturday. Be safe. I'll see you this week.